Chapter 15 Dr. Diaper George and Harold hid behind the van until the coast was clear. Then they sneaked up to the hole in the door and peeked inside. Captain Underpants was all tied up. The two robots were standing guard, and a strange little man wearing a diaper was laughing maniacally. I am the evil Dr. Diaper, the strange little man told Captain Underpants. And you will be the first to witness my takeover of the world. Dr. Diaper placed the stolen crystal into a large machine called the Lasermatic 2000. The machine started to light up and make loud noises. Heavy gears began shifting and spinning and a laser beam from the crystal shot straight up through a hole in the roof. In exactly 20 minutes, this laser beam will blow up the moon and send huge chunks of it crashing down upon every major city in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Laughed Dr. Diaper. Then I will rise from the rubble and take over the planet. Only one thing could help us now, said George. What? asked Harold. Rubber doggy doo doo, said George. <laughs> Harold took the fake doggy doo doo and a slingshot from George's backpack and handed them to him. Be careful, said Harold. The fate of the entire planet is in your hands. With careful and precise aim, George shot the rubber doo-doo through the air and across the room. It landed with a plop right at the feet of Dr. Diaper. Yes, whispered George and Harold. Dr. Diaper looked down at the doo-doo between his feet and turned bright red. Oh, dear me, he cried. I I'm dreadfully embarrassed. Please excuse me. He began to waddle toward the restroom. This has never happened to me before, I, I assure you, he said. I, I guess with all the excitement, I, I just, I just, oh dear, oh dear. While Dr. Diaper was off changing himself, George and Harold sneaked into the old warehouse. Immediately, the robots detected the boys and began marching toward them. Destroy the intruders, said the robots. Destroy the intruders. George and Harold screamed and ran to the back of the warehouse. Luckily, George found two old boards and gave one of them to Harold. We're not going to have to resort to extremely graphic violence, are we? Asked Harold. I sure hope not, said George. Chapter 16, the extremely graphic violence chapter. Warning, the following chapter contains graphic scenes showing two boys beating the tar out of a couple of robots. If you have high blood pressure, or if you faint at the sight of motor oil, we strongly urge you to take better care of yourself and stop being such a baby.
Chapter 17 The Escape After defeating the robots, George and Harold untied Captain Underpants. Come on! cried Harold. Let's get out of here! Wait! said Captain Underpants. We have to save the world first! So George, Harold, and Captain Underpants frantically looked all over the Lasermatic 2000, searching for a way to shut it down and stop the inevitable disaster. Um, said Harold, I think this might be the lever we want. He pulled the self-destruct lever with all his might. Suddenly, the Lasermatic 2000 began to sputter and shake. The huge laser beam turned off, and pieces of the machine began flying off in all directions. It's gonna blow! cried Harold. <gasps> Run for your lives! Not so fast! screamed Dr. Diaper, who had appeared out of nowhere. You demolished my robots! You destroyed my Lasermatic 2000! And you ruined my one chance to take over the world! But you won't live to tell the tale! Dr. Diaper pulled out his Diapermatic 2000 ray gun and pointed it at George, Harold, and Captain Underpants. <laughs> Captain Underpants quickly stretched a pair of underwear and shot it at Dr. Diaper. The underwear landed right on the evil doctor's head. Help! cried Dr. Diaper. I can't see! I, I can't see! George and Harold ran out of the warehouse as fast as they could. Great shot, Captain Underpants! cried Harold. There's just one thing I don't understand, said George. Where'd you get the extra pair of underwear? <laughs> what extra pair? said Captain Underpants. Never mind that, cried George. Let's just get out of here before that Lasermatic 2000 thing explodes! The Lasermatic 2000 blew up, tearing apart the old warehouse. It sent flaming shards of red hot metal in every direction. Fire fell from the skies around our heroes, and the earth began to crumble beneath their feet. Oh, no! cried Harold. We're doomed! Chapter 18 To make a long story short, they got away. Don't forget to subscribe and give us a big thumbs up for new app demos every single day.